I'll go over here to the, the Make America Great Again. Yeah, no problem. So, let's be respectful. That's so typical that you boo me because I have a Made America Great hat on again. But really, really. It's let's so let's all be respectful, please. Yes. If you want to go along with violating the um, public trust, how far does that go? Are we going to look at the Democrats that have done the same thing? And, um, oh, please, really. So, so let's, let's all Thank be respectful. You. Let, please. See, this is my point exactly. You don't. It, yeah. Um, because they have all, starting with Hillary Clinton, on down have have tried to take over the country by a silent coup. coup. But, and it's really please I ask you all to please be respectful of the person asking the question. So, yeah, and, and you know, this is what um, Mueller and um, the Democrats have all tried to and the deep state, the bureaucrats, I don't know if you've ever dealt with a bureaucrat, but it's 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 just mind boggling that we have to deal with them. Um, I have a lot of experience, and so um, that. Uh, please, please, okay. Please, please, please be respectful. Please be please. respectful. Please. My view, point of view please, has. Please be respectful, sir. Sir, please, please calm down. Okay. My question is. Yes. Um, I'm just trying to get my view a point across because nobody else has asked a question. Anyway, um, my question is, how can you become a Democrat when we voted for you as a Republican? Because you just drink the same Kool-Aid as all the Democrats. Okay, so let's keep the mic there because I might have some follow-up I, I want to ask. But first... I have uh, one of the most constitutionally conservative and fiscally conservative voting records in the whole Congress. And in fact, I have, I have voted to spend less than any member of Congress in either chamber since I've been in Congress. So I voted for less spending. When I got elected as part of the Tea Party movement, people cared about limited government. They cared about fiscal conservatism making sure that our government wasn't spending too much. Uh, under the current administration, spending is skyrocketing. So sky spending has gone way up. And Republicans, unfortunately, haven't said that much about it. And I've continued to vote to reduce spending at the federal level. I talked earlier about how I think we do too many things at the federal level. If you look at my scorecards from conservative groups, I'm at the top of like nearly all the scorecards. So you won't, you're not going to find me, um, I'm not uh, like even a middle of the road Republican when it comes to these scorecards. I'm, I'm at the top or near the top of every scorecard. So uh, I haven't changed. I'm, I'm who I said I, I was. I'm a principled constitutional conservative who has stayed consistent regardless of whether we have President Obama in office or President Trump.